So, so it's a lot sunnier today, which is good. Uh, it's slightly chilly in the in the air, but I think it'll warm up later on. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make my way down to the um, the the log where I was, which I found yesterday, which looks out over that settlement. I'm not sure if it's currently occupied, but um, it's worth just spending the day there, I think, and not moving around because that's been, I think, my downfall so far is just doing too much um, stomping around. Although, first of all, I do have to just pick up the decoy because I left it there in my haste. I, I forgot to pick that up. But um, apart from that, I think I'll stay in that one area all day. So that's the plan. So this is where I'll be all day. It's actually slightly wet, but I brought some. Um, I brought a, a bin liner to sit on. So so that should be all right. As I said, I'll I'll, I'll go down and collect the puppets in a minute. But otherwise, I'll just stay here, and hopefully they'll. I'm not going to try. Like I probably said before I'm not hiding from them uh, I don't want to be too loud I'm probably too loud at the moment but um, keep the noise down I'm semi hidden from that log but not enough to look like I'm up to anything particularly suspicious they can they can see me from the, the banks so also I've got another um, I bought another lens today a longer lens so if I, if I want to get any further away shots, that should come in handy. I didn't bring those before. I normally just have the, the one on the, the zoom that's on there. But um, so that's, that's hopefully going to be handy. So, yeah. Um, so I just came back to where the puppet's meant to be, down there. And uh, it's gone. So look, that's where it was, attached to that little tree. If I just try and focus it in. Um, where is it? That tree there was attached to the one. Hold on, let me try and. There's my finger. There, that little tree. Um, I actually find it very annoying, but um, they they did this once before, but it was a long time ago, and it was a different situation. Then I'd left it out for about a week and a half, but it's actually quite irritating because that puppet took me about well, it took a few days to build, and it's the only one that I've got. Um, I'll go down there and try and try and see if there's any signs of anything but I can see already that the string that even the, the uh, that the string's gone as well well it started to rain just got back to the camp and it's um they raided it I have a, had there was a sandwich in there which is gone there's a flying saucers on the ground which you just check those I need to find some air to there's one left in there um, quite annoying because <laughs> the sandwich I don't mind the flying saucers but uh, the sandwich was was I was having that was my lunch so so today's playing a trick on me obviously because it, rain, it stopped raining almost as soon as I uh, left the, um, the the log area and then I thought better safe than sorry and I've been here about 40 minutes and it, of course it's blue, completely blue sky and it's all dried up so I should go back there they're complete kleptomaniacs the the the, 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 the well not just the morse pixies in general they'll take anything that you leave around and I shouldn't really have left my gear there it's just laziness it's just because Carrying the carrying the tripod and everything is luckily they can't. Glad they didn't get the, the 
anything um, <coughs> worth worth you know money. But the sandwich is particularly annoying because it's the only thing I had to eat today, and I go hungry now. Um, right, <laughs> let's um, back to square one again after after all of that. Lose lost the two or three hours or so, um, but uh, I, the plan's the same. I'm I'm going to be positive and uh, keep the camera. Ch I'll ca change the lens over in a moment, and then we can see if anything occurs down there. So it's just started raining again. I was just about to do a video, just do an illustration. Um, haven't seen anything. It's been about an hour and a half uh, since the, since the last video. I savoured the last flying saucer, and um, <laughs> I found some blackberries. So that was that was it. But I, I think I'm. I think it, it, if it really, I'll give it 20 minutes. This rain, and if it doesn't stop, I, I think I'll just have to call it a day. Sorry about that. I really I picked the wrong time of year to start doing this. It was, I should have done it earlier on when, this, when it was more summery in general. I need that. I need that bag for the camera. Um, I was also going to talk. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll t yeah. Sorry. So it stopped raining just as I was leaving. So I give today one more chance and uh, see if we can get back on track. Um, so the, the name Morsu comes from the Latin Magnum Morsu and that's, uh, that means big bite or large teeth. I was actually uh, going for large teeth. Um, the reason being the first couple that I saw uh, here uh, both had very protruding teeth, and uh, I thought that was a tribal characteristic. But it's, it doesn't seem to be. A, it was just it was just those two individuals and the name I just kept um, for the rest of them. Um, yeah, so I've not. That's not really. A, that's not really a feature of them. As I said, they're, they're quite typical for um, pixies, about ten inches high. Um, uh, limited technology, well, you know, spears and and things like that. They adorn their themselves with little um, bracelets and necklaces and things and you know things that they found. They're very they're very proud of of, of, of anything uh, you know, like if they find a, a bird skull or something like that. I've seen them wear bird skulls as hats. <laughs> they um. They sort of hollow out the base and, and, and they can put them on their heads. And, uh, you know, they do things like that. They'll find, if they find animal claws, uh, they'll often make jewellery out of, of those um, around the neck and, you know, that sort of thing. They, yeah, they, they use slug skins as well. I've seen uh, um, slug skins they'll use for carrying water. And uh, they they use that also as as uh, clothing. Um, I don't know how they cure the the skin of it to stop it rotting away, but um, it actually looks quite attractive. Funnily enough, the um, the surface of a slug is quite intricate, and it, it looks quite nice. Um, and snails, they use snails again for carrying things in. Uh, larger snails are quite make quite useful. Um, I've seen it's quite common actually for them to to use them as a as a little backpack or something like that. Um, I'll just get back. To, I'll just get the camera. I, I can hear something. Oh, at last he's coming out. Been waiting here for about. Uh, oh, he's going uh, going back in. So uh, that's it for today, um, mainly because I'm too hungry and I need to go and eat something. <laughs> Sorry, but um, 
I think there's one up there, but I, I can't get, I don't want to, I just need, yeah, I need to get some more energy in, um, and then come back um, out when it's another day. Ah, he's got my, look, right, look at this. Hold on. My, my, my sandwich. <laughs> very, very tempted to, to go and get that from him. Probably won't even like um, tuna mayonnaise. Uh, right, well, that's the final straw for me, I'm afraid, today. I, I'm, I'm going to head off home. Okay, bye-bye.